let's talk about inequalities in geometry. So we have properties of inequalities, just like we learned about properties of equalities, now we're going to learn about properties of inequalities. So here we go. If A is bigger than B and C is bigger than D, then if I add the two bigger numbers together, A plus C, they're both going to be bigger than B plus D. That's kind of obvious, isn't it? Okay, now how about this one? If A is bigger than B and C is a positive number, then if I multiply A times C, it's going to be bigger than the product of B times C. And if I divide A by C, that'll be bigger than B divided by C. Now, here's what you have to watch out for. If A is bigger than B and C is negative, then look what happens. I start out with A bigger than C, bigger than B, but then if I multiply by a negative term, it switches the inequality. Okay? So, for example, 3 is bigger than 2, but if I multiply both sides by negative 1, I get negative 3 and negative 2, and negative 3 is less than negative 2. Okay? So multiplying or dividing by a negative number will switch the inequality. So always remember that. Okay, two more. If A is bigger than B and B is bigger than C, then A is bigger than C. That's kind of like a transitive property of inequality. And then finally, if I have to add two numbers together to equal A and C is positive, then A is definitely bigger than B. Okay, so from the last property above, we get this theorem, the exterior angle inequality theorem. And it says that the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either remote interior angle. So if I call this angle 1 and this angle 2 and this exterior angle 3, you may remember that the measure of angle 3 is equal to the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2. We call that the exterior angle triangle theorem. Now, since I have to add 1 and 2 together to equal 3, that means that the measure of angle 3 has to be bigger than either of those angles. And that's what this exterior angle inequality theorem is telling us. Okay, so let's say we have this right triangle and we're given that side RS is less than side ST and side ST is less than side RT. So what can we conclude? Is RS greater than RT, equal to RT, or less than RT? Well, RS is less than ST, and ST is less than RT, so that means RS must be less than RT. Okay, how about this? The measure of angle PQU, so that's this angle right here, is equal to the measure of angle PQT, which is that one, plus the measure of TQU, which is this one. Okay, so what can we conclude? Well, is PQU greater than, less than, or equal to the measure of angle TQU? Since we have to add TQU and PQT to get PQU, that means PQU is going to be greater than angle TQU. Okay, how about the measure of angle PQU compared to angle PQT? Once again, it will be greater than because we have to add these two to equal this big angle right here. All right, how about some true or false? Let's say that uh, the distance from x to y is equal to the distance from y to z plus 5. So does that make xy greater than yz? Yes, because we have to add 5 to yz to get xy. So that is true. Okay, now if the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C, then is the measure of angle B greater than measure of angle C? Well, we know definitely that measure of angle A is bigger than either angle B or angle C, but we don't know anything about the relative sizes of angle B or C, so that is going to be false. Okay, how about this? If angle H is equal to angle J plus angle K, then angle K is greater than angle H? No because we have to add angle J to K to equal H, that means that angle K is actually less than angle H. So that is false. And how about this? If 10 equals Y plus 2, then Y is greater than 10? No. We have to add 2 to Y to get 10, so that means Y is less than 10. Actually, Y is 8, right? So that is false. 
So that's an introduction of inequalities and how you'll use them in geometry. We'll be using the properties of inequalities to compare different sides of triangles and all kinds of stuff, but this is just an introduction.